Hi guys, it's Aisha again. Welcome back. Well, welcome back to all of you um, old subscribers. Old, should I say old subscribers? Welcome back anyway. And to the new subscribers, welcome. Um, just a bit of housekeeping before I start. I did start a new Instagram for the Sticky Stitch. So that'll be just basically any knitting or cross stitch related stuff. Um, not why, I'm not sure why I'm winded. I have no idea. I've been sitting here for ages, but eh, weird. Um, I do have a Ravelry group. It's called Sticky Stitch Knits. Um, go, come, please come and join because I'm going to have um, a knit along, craft along thing, which I'll talk about later. Um, and there aren't many of you, so you have a high chance of winning. Um, so today I'm going to talk a bit about knitting. Um, I'm saying a lot of um too. Knitting, spinning. Uh, and very small I can't remember the word stash acquisition <laughs> I can't believe I've forgotten it's shopping how should I how could I forget what shopping means um, I have actually been on leave for the past few weeks and it's been bloody awesome I have been busy doing absolutely nothing um, and yeah it's been Oh, it's been fabulous, but it's been extremely humid too, and that's why I haven't filmed anything of late. And that's also stopped me from really doing any knitting or cross stitch as well, because I just, it was too hot. And even though the air conditioner is on, I just felt all sticky. Um, so I haven't been doing much, but nevertheless, there are some, a few to show you, because there's been two or three weeks since I last spoke to you. Um, so on with the show. So firstly, I will show you some finishes. Um, there are two finishes that I had finished quite a while ago, but I forgot to show you, and I just wanted to talk about them. Firstly is the zigzag chevron hat by, I'm just reading my notes, Ashley Schleicher. And it's a free pattern on Ravelry, and this is it. It's a charity hat. I did it to the pattern, um, like with all the repeats and so on. So I'll just put it on for you so you can see. It's, it actually is quite loose. But I'm just going to, like I said, this is a charity hat. But I actually really like it. It's the first time I've done really any sort of colour work. And I'm surprised at how well it turned out. So that's how it looks. I mean, it's not perfect. But it is my first one. There are the decreases. And there are the floats. But I really liked it. And like I said, it was it's free. I had plenty of yarn left over. The yarn that I used is yarn that can be found in Spotlight here in Australia. The Motivera in um, Colette, was it? Yes, Colette in Green Fleck and Beige Fleck. But if you look up my project notes, you'll see them. But I love how it turned out. And I think I will make a, one for myself. But I'll probably use a black and then maybe like a gradient or a neon variegated or something like that because I did like I do like the idea of that so that's the first one that one goes into the charity bag the second one that I been meaning to show you because I haven't shown you because I hadn't blocked it I still haven't blocked it but I want to show you anyway um, this is a doodle shawl by Stephen West it's a paid for pattern I think it was six dollars um, and what can I say about this pattern He's amazing about how he constructs shawls. It's this shawl in particular, I think, is you know, usually he makes shawls that are quite unisex, but I think this does lend has a bit more of a feminine look to it. And you're not going to be able to see it, but you could probably see the ruffles at the bottom and the top there. And this is how it looks like there too. So this was a mystery knit along. So and I'd never done a mystery knit along before. So it was really interesting, uh, scary. Did, did I choose the right yarns in the right order? All that sort of stuff. But it all worked out. The yarns that I use, this variegated one, is by Miss Gusset. It's supposed to be. Uh, she doesn't dye anymore. It's supposed to be fingering, but it's actually not fingering. I think it's quite more heavier than that. But it worked out well anyway. The, the neon is actually slightly variegated too, but the neon is um, Yarn vs Zombies in her Walker base, and the colour is uh, Year of the Geek 
color base, a uh, color, and it's called Poison Ivy, based on the character Poison Ivy. And then the black is just from Bendigo Woolen Mills in their four ply luxury base, and the orange. I the this section here is supposed to be well, a lot of people did it in just one color, but I decided oh this hair here, but I decided to add some orange to it, and that is Hot Tamale by Nitpick Straw Brights. And what it is is that, I don't know if you can see it, can you see that? So the orange stripes don't go all the way through, it just stops there, the longest one. And I'm really happy with it, I really like it, I haven't blocked it, it's huge. And I did do a mistake here, I forgot to do a cable stitch here, but nobody knows. It's huge as it is and I'm a big girl, so once it's blocked this is just going to be heaven. And I wanted something really bright, whether I wear it out or not is another story, but if, it, if you've been thinking about doing this shawl I highly recommend it. It's, it's just such an in, interesting construction, I just really enjoyed it and I wouldn't mind making um, a bit more of a neutral one. Some might say this is neutral, it's not too bright, is it? I don't think it's too bright, but it's massive and without being blocked, end to end it's my wingspan, so that's 150 centimetres, just under four, five foot for you people who don't know metric, but I really, really love this one. So that's the other finish. Let's see what I've got. Okay, and then I have some sock finishes. These socks are my February socks and it's in a new bag that I've just acquired. This is from Knit and Stitch Bits. She's on Etsy. I love her bags. I think this is my third or fourth one. I can't remember. This one's Alice in Wonderland. I love it. She uses like a palin on the um, as lining and yeah I just adore it. So I made two pairs of socks with my February yarn and where are the other ones? switch over here. So I made some socks for myself. These are the Afterthought Heel. Is it Afterthought Heel? Yeah, the Afterthought Heel socks by Laura Linneman. I don't know if I like Afterthought Heel. I like the idea of it. I like the idea of a true Afterthought Heel. But uh, there's too much kitchenering when you're doing it top down. So I might do one toe up next time and try it that way and see if I enjoy it more. This is the second time I've done an afterthought heel though. Um, the yarn that I used is the Regia Arnie and Carlos in Summer Night and the colour number is 3657 and the toe, I always like, I love doing contrast toes and um, heels. This is Tranquil by Knit Picks in st the Stroll Base. And I really like, I really want to do white. I think this the south striping looks good with the white um, contrast, but I didn't have any white or ecru in a nylon base, so oh well. I'm trying to make do with what I've got. Not that it stops me from shopping anyway. But that's it there. Love it. There are the heels. I'm a size five and a half, so I always have a lot of yarn that's left over. Um, but I did these two at a time and I have to say I really enjoyed it. I think the fact that I'm finishing both at the same time almost made me knit them quicker. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I really love so them. much yarn left over. I may ended up making some tube socks. And I used the recipe from Heather, um, Bunny Fish on Ravelry, um, to make some tube socks for my little ne niece. How cute are they? And I don't care about whether the stripes meet or not. It doesn't have to be even because these are sort of like that if you were to even them out. But they're so cute. I love them. I just absolutely adore them. And I did do ribbing and you can see the pattern. You can still see the pattern even through the ribbing. And they're very cute. So I don't have much of that yarn left now. So I'll put them away for swaps. I really, but I really, really like them. Next, let's see what we have. I've already drawn the yarn for my March socks. So I'm doing the brown bag paper, the brown bag sock club that a lot of um, you, um, podcasts are running. So this is the yarn that I pulled out. 
It's so cute. Oh, love it. It's a one of a kind. This is from Miss Click Cat. Click. Click. Clack? Is it a one of a kind? Yeah. It's a one of a kind, but it actually reminds me, and it could have been the precursor, because this was, I bought this well before she bought the other colorway out. The colorway that I saw on her website, it's called Turkish Delight, so which sort of works out well, because I am a Turkish Delight. Um, <laughs> so this is the yarn that I pulled out, and it's in her Miss Click Clack, in her Fenwick Street Flash Merino, 8515 Superwash Extra Fine Merino and Nylon. Um, and I think this was discounted because she found a knot, there was a knot in it, so which won't bother me because I don't find them a big deal. So I'm looking forward to putting this one on the needles on March the 1st, and it's going to, I think I'm going to do the Bellatrix socks because I'm in, in a bit of a Harry Potter mood at the moment. So on to my whips. Um, I have had, had a bit of a star to itis thing going on, so I've started a few things not quite finished them. The first one is, let me see if I can find the front page for you. I usually don't print out my patterns, I just happen to have printed out this one to show you. This is the Balsam Hollow Shawl by Paula Emmons Feasley. It's, it, um, it was a, I bought it as a kit from um, Little Skein in the Big Wool and I got the bag too. So it's Anna Green Gables if you haven't worked it out. And the yarn I'm using is, the colourway is Haunted Wood by Lady Man Fibre Arts in their callback base, which is a sport. And it's 100% wool, merino I should say. I'm trying not to um, pull them off the needles. So I haven't gotten far yet. There's a possibility I might even start it again, I don't know. But that's all I've done so far. It is what it is. The interesting bit is right at the bottom of the, towards the bottom. I will be making the larger shawl. I do like the pattern, how it's written out. I also like that um, she's got percentages um, and you can tick off whether you've got enough yarn left and what row you're on and so on and so forth. So quite enjoying that and I'm really enjoying the yarn from um, Leading Men Fibre Arts. This is the only yarn that I've got from them. Like I said, it's a bit difficult buying yarn now that our dollar is ridiculously low against the US dollar, but really enjoying that one. And I like the bag too. And then the next thing that I started, ah uh, yes, this one I started today. This is my hat for Quidditch for Hogwarts and Ravelry. I'm a Hufflepuff. Go Hufflepuff. This is a hat by Quinn Willion, Willion and I'm using Rowan Tweed in Cald. 583 is the number. That's what the yarn looks like. And this is for the Quidditch Cup. And I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew by deciding to do this one. But I've got a bit done. So that's the Modern Rogers hat. So there's cable and mock cable. Um, I don't know whether I like the fact that this is this part is supposed to be um, folded up and it's going to hide that detail there so I'm not sure if I'm happy with that but this again I will give as a charity hat and I'll definitely make one for myself because I'm really enjoying how it's um, oh you can't even see the patterning but it's gorgeous who knows maybe I'll keep it myself but it's supposed to be for chappy. And I'm two, using just two balls of the Rowan Tweed. I really like it. I like it a lot. We'll see how we go. And then, what else did I start? Ah, oh, yes. This, I started, well, I pulled out the yarn and the needles back in November. So on Ravelry it looks like I've started in November, but I didn't, and I really should go and change that. So I basically started it and finished this all in one day. It was an uber quick knit. Um, it's called the Sweet Sunglasses Case by Amber O'Brien on Ravelry. It's a downloadable pattern. I can't remember the price, but I think I got it when she released it, and it was $2. Um, so this is a sunglasses case here. I used Noro. Um, and it's just a nice graduated yarn, and the colorway is blue, red, blue, purple, one, two, four. 
and basically you've got a thing here there's a little buttonhole there and I just need to get a button and I actually haven't decided if I'm going to line it as well whether I use it as a sunglasses case or for something else I'm not sure yet I like the idea of having a soft case for sunglasses um, sometimes you know it's the normal sunglasses cases are basically too big and bulky for them so that's why I thought I'd make one and I really like how the colors just look at it it's so cool Oh, love it really easy really quick I would imagine especially if it was lined it would be just an awesome gift to give to someone or like um like a teacher's gift or something for the those who um, have kids and have to give teachers gifts at the end of the year really like that one highly recommend it and then well of course I like the patterns because I wouldn't continue knitting with them really would I but yeah anyway and then I think that's all I have let me just check in my bag of goodies because I know that I haven't knit ev on everything but I do have a couple more firstly I made some hexi puffs because I was looking at my yarns for a swap and I realized that I hadn't um, knit them in the hexi puffs yet some of the yarns that I have used and I thought best I do them and they're quick and you can just do them while you're watching TV so I've got one here I don't know why it looks wonky and this is um, four seasons I think it is not just socks which is available from it's a self patterning yarn and self striping yarn but I've got the stripey bit um, colorway is berry this is using the regia that of the socks that I just finished these are socks that I've I think I made Rose City rollers out of these ones and this is a Peyton's Australia is it a magic stripe or something like that so I made one like that and because I'm trying not to repeat colorways and this one is the yarn that I just showed you the one of a kind from Miss Click Clack so I managed to finish four I'm hoping to do at least a hundred again this year but I don't have a hundred mini skeins so it's going to be difficult so if anyone wants to do a mini skein swap let me know um I'd love to do them and yeah so I, I haven't done anything on my mitered swear blanket because I basically don't have yarns for it at the moment and lastly I decided I've got two huge bags like this of the same wool but different colors and I want to get rid of it because then I'm going to have that much space in my home and hopefully it'll be empty and not replaced um, and it's all pure new wool um, well pure wool I should say it's just 100% wool I'm, I'm using four seasons again from spotlight and I decided to do a crochet blanket because crochet uses up so much yarn so hopefully I'll finish these and I've put down two patterns that I'm using one is called the mixed stitch stripy blanket by Julie Harrison and the other one is the rainbow sampler bank blanket by Kristen from Harkmar I can't read my writing right um, but it's basically based on those so I didn't want to say it's all my own idea but I'm actually not following either pattern um, I cast on you can see it's huge and it's going to be a lot of weaving in and off ends I cast on 400 chains I think that's what I'm doing I, actually I know that's what I'm doing and I'm just using and just changing colors when I feel like it so I'm using a gray like a lime green a burgundy a tan and a brown so they're the five colors I have so once I finish this row I'll start on the gray again but we'll see what we do but yeah it's been fun I haven't crocheted like properly for years so it's been interesting and I thought if I do it this way I can actually learn terminology of crochet because I don't know like I've made hats and cushion covers and dish wipes and you know different stuff and I actually will show you I'll, I'll find one of them because it's actually quite cute and I can't believe that was my taste back, back then but yeah but I don't follow a pattern I don't know the name so it's basically like when I started knitting again I knew what it I knew what knitting was. I knew to knit and to purl, but I didn't know it was called a knit stitch and a purl stitch. And so I know all these stitches, but I didn't know what they were called. So I'm learning what a HDC and a 
2G, TR and all those sorts of stuff. I'm learning all that. So this is just something that I'll pick up and do whenever I feel like it because it just takes me ages to finish a row. And I'll this is, again will be a gift for someone. I'm not sure who. Possibly my mum. But we'll see how we go. So, and that's just in a big pillowcase. Well, a cushion cover, I should say. And I've got two of those. So hopefully I will finish them. But what I want to do is actually make some big decent pillow blanket cases if that makes sense that's what that's what I need to make and lastly and this is part of the well actually no I'll announce, announce it now so the, the craft along that I'm going to have is a finish or frog it craft along you can cross stitch crochet or knit what prompted me to do this is I actually frogged one of my, the shawls that I made back in the day because I basically wasn't wearing it. So I thought I want the yarn, I'm not wearing it, so I frogged it and I might end up making some socks or something out of it because I know I'll wear them. So I thought well there's a lot of, and I've got a few projects still from last year not including the the hexi puffs you know the the beekeepers quilt from did I say who it was from tiny owl knits and actually I should show you this so this is what I keep this is my little pack for my hexi puffs and I just keep some yarn some filling and my my DPNs and I use a three and a half DPNs in carbon so that just and this once I put some once I get some mini skeins I can just put them in here and I can just keep that in my handbag and that's basically usually what I'll knit on when I'm out and about not that I knit a lot when I'm out and about anyway so going back to I thought we've got a lot of us have still got um, projects especially if you cross stitch from last year that you might want to finish and some of us might want to frog some items so I'm going to have a finish or frog craft along and the gift that you will get if you are successful, also I'll use a random generator um, and you'll get this lovely bag. I thought this was nice because it was a bit spring but it's also autumnal for those of us who live in the southern hemisphere. It's so cute. This is from Knit and Stitch Bits. She gave this for me to give away to you guys. Otherwise I would have kept it. It's got a cool, I love that purple. And then inside it's pink polka dots. It's very cool and they're squared bottoms as well. <laughs> squared bottoms. This has been in a bag. I actually don't have any cats and nobody smokes in the house. So it's all allergy free, hopefully. So I'll be giving away that bag. And then if I have a lot of entries, I might give away some patterns or something as well. Actually, I'll give away... Yeah, I'll give away a pattern too. Let's say up to the value of $6.00. So I'll have two prizes to give away. So what prompted me was I started a pair of socks, which I've since ripped out. Well, taken off the needles. These are socks that I started for my dad for Father's Day. Father's Day in Australia is September. I have ripped these out so many times, I think three or four times, until I decided, okay, I can't do a fish lips kiss heel. It doesn't work for him. I'll do a top down, even though I can't stand it, a top down gusseted heel. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to rip this and put it as a picture on um, on the on my Ravelry group. So you can, like I said, you can cross stitch, you can do whatever you want. And in interest of fair play, please don't rip out like a little circle of something. You know, it's going to be, you know, you've got to, like this is a good size to rip out. It's, it's not huge, but you can do that. Or you might have a jumper or something that you don't wear or you made something for someone and it's the wrong size. Rip it out. So what I need is a before picture, if you're ripping it out, and the aftermath, the carnage after you've ripped it out, or your before and after picture for um, if you finish the item. So anything, obviously it's whips. Um, so anything basically started in before today <laughs> is allowed so let's say February so anything before February no let's include February as well anything started in February and before that 
can be entered in and you'll be in the running like I said you have to be you there are I don't have many members so you'll you've got a huge chance of winning um, so please let friends know as well maybe maybe I don't know, maybe they won't like me so I'm gonna rip that out and um, like I said I'll put it on there I'll take some photos of the bag too and yeah good luck may the odds be ever in your favor as I say so and this is in my does it have a name freckled whimsy bag from on Etsy and that's it that's all my um, works in progress I do have a spinning to show you the it's uber bright I decided to pick up my spindle again well a different spindle from the last time and um, try my hand at spinning again just so I can get used to doing like a sock weight so I chose this colorway I just picked it up from the hand hand spinners and weavers guild um, there's no colorway is there a colorway name to it let me have a look yes it's called ash stripey blend no it doesn't isn't it's 120 summer days it's called summer days and it's 100 percent corridale i'm actually really enjoying this spin and i'm managing to get a fine ply i don't know if you can see that but yeah so I love it so what I'm doing is I separated the colors and I'm doing that for a while and then I'll blend the colors and I'm not really fast I just I just want the end wool product and then I'll probably end up making something interesting with it but I'm looking forward to doing this one because I really like how thin the yarn is it's I'm actually amazed and let me see if that's all I need to show you today that's all I need to show you. Only very small stash acquisition. I have actually put a couple of orders in um, through Etsy uh, from a couple of, I think, Aussie dyers. Did I order from Aussie dyers? I'm asking you. No. I ordered from Crazy Dog Yarns in Canada because I love her yarns and I've, I've, I've showed you in the podcast before that I've had her yarns. And then... I ordered from Flock and Needle, but they won't come until March. So thankfully, these are, I think, all my acquisitions for February. And these weren't impulse purchases, which is, well, no, they weren't impulse purchases. I bought this one because I have one skein, and these are only 50 gram balls. This is the Shibui Fluids sock, and they the, it's actually been discontinued. So I want to get another one of the same color that I already have. And then when I went to pick up that, I found out they're on special because they are discontinued and she can't get the colours in again. And she was selling it for about $10. So I thought I'd get another of this one, which I have as well. And this one's called Chinese Red. And you don't get... And this would be... What sort of red would it be? I'm not sure if the camera's showing because it looks a bit blown out. But once I upload, it might be fine. It's actually like a... I don't know. It's a red. It's a Chinese red. Actually, it is a Chinese red. You know, like the money bags that you see on Lunar New Year and stuff. I think that's when they have them. But yeah, so all I did was pick up these. So I'm very excited that that's all the yarn that I have. So I, I do actually um, write yarn in, yarn out um, for each month. So thankfully for this month, it's only these two because the other yarns I've ordered haven't arrived yet. So they'll come in March. And that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate and I really do appreciate that you guys have remained subscribed. I um, thank you for your, all your well wishes about my cousin from the last video. I really do appreciate it. You just, regardless of what, you, um, what your opinions are about war and soldiers, and my ones, you know, I'm a pacifist. So... You just forget, oh, wait a second, these people are actually humans and they are they basically are giving up their lives for a cause. And, 
yeah which is amazing you know they put their lives on the line um yeah so it's been hard for the family um especially because he had his daughter was just about to turn one so but thank you i really do appreciate that um as i mentioned um all my links will be down below um so instagram ravelry i do have twitter but i regular i really don't communicate much on twitter but i do answer most things if not all on instagram um yeah that's about it don't forget to enter and um i'll see you hopefully very soon okay take care ciao